Frank, you should see this. Here's the world's largest camera, it says here. It weighs 7,000 pounds, and there's so much about it. This camera is 35 feet long and 12 feet tall with a 300-pound lens. And it's on display right now in Monroe, Wisconsin. Think we ought to take a trip there? Oh, you're right. That's really neat. Look at the size of that thing. You wouldn't get that idea of it if that gal wasn't standing next to it. Look at that. World's largest camera. 7,000 pounds focuses on the end of the film age. Well, that's true. Film is dead. The lens of the 35 foot long Manarchy's camera is designed to capture the clearest image ever made. Monroe, Wisconsin, that's not that far away. Hmm. I think we should go, Gene. County Courthouse, Green County, actually, in the city of Monroe. And we're here to see the big camera. It's on the other side of this building, in the shade. Really a neat old building. God, I bet that's a hundred years old. We'll have to look for a cornerstone somewhere. Well, there she sits. How's that for a camera? Whoa. You should see the, you should see the lens frame. Just a minute. So what is that? Metal, huh? It's not fabric. No, it's not fabric. So, how about that? It's fake. What do you mean fabric would wear out? <laughs> no, it's not fabric. It sure looks like fabric. Very good job. Butterflies and there's photographs inside that you need to see. Go oh. in and it's in the first conference room. Where's your coming from? The American Portrait by Dennis Monarchy. That's one big mama. Nice piece of artwork. Not practical, but a nice piece of artwork. That's the same picture that's hanging along the side of the building outside. Excellent. You go online too, Frank. Mm -hmm. of the largest camera. Yeah, does it say when it was built?
beautiful building. Little town of Monroe. Picture here the earlier courthouse. Looks like it's on the same site. Yeah, it's probably 20, 30 years ago. Period. Say that again. I, I picked up some magazines. On what? On actually Wisconsin, here's Superior. Uh huh. That's a long way off. Spring Green. And Wausau. Wow. Why would anybody go to Wausau? <laughs> I would. That's why I never mentioned this. Well, obviously, people weren't as tall back then. That door is only door is only a little over six foot. <laughs> Not even. Ah, yeah, I guess it's more than six foot. Not much. Would you like to join me? Sure. Apparently, uh, cheese days is a big deal in this con in this town. Signs all over: cheese days, cheese days, cheese days, hats, cheese days. God, a guy could get constipated for a month. Yep, there's even an office for it. Hmm. Neat little town, and this building, still haven't found out how old it is, but I'll bet it's over a hundred years. It's in perfect condition. Perfectly clean. Perfect order. Here's that courthouse again. This is the western side. It's late afternoon, so perfect light. And that's the camera over there alongside. Nice exhibit. Good to see a small town doing things like this. And this square around Monroe is really neat. Lots of people, lots of shops. There's no parking available. Really surprised. Neat town. I'm so happy we came. Well, I finally found the cornerstone. Here it is, 1891. How about that? 120 years old. Yep. On the other side of that building, it was rededicated in 1991 after extensive remodeling. That's why it's so neat inside. But they kept most of the old stuff, just fixed it up. Neat idea. <laughs>